Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing okay. I'm definitely doing well. Sorry for the delay, but uh, just been like always really busy. But just thought I should make a quick video of exactly what's going on with the XRS. I'm definitely making a little bit of bit of progress, that's for sure. Um, it's uh, it's just a matter of time with me ha handling, you know, family and uh, work and stuff like that. But I finally got the the Fidanza flywheel in, as you can see, right there, all nice and shiny. I had to take off the green coating with some brake clean cleaner and it definitely worked out pretty good i put some arp uh, flywheel bolts on it um currently i'm just waiting to uh buy a clutch i've just been lazy and not buying it at the moment just because of some time restrictions that i have going on right now that i know that i'm not gonna get to at the moment so i'm gonna get that soon uh and at the same time i've just been playing around with my my fog lights decided to attempt them like a neon chrome so I'm looking forward to to see how how it's gonna turn out once it's you know down to the ground and uh, up and going I'm planning to wrap the the bumper I'm kind of debating whether to wrap the bumper with some carbon fiber wrap at the moment so we'll see about that and see how what time gives me but uh just wanna give you guys exactly the rundown on the transmission I got it sent out to monkey wrench racing and they definitely did the job I barely got it back at the, at the beginning of the week I haven't posted anything on Instagram for the fact that you know I just been staying low just uh, I, I'm trying not to shoot myself in the foot because I have a lot going on especially uh, since my wife doesn't work and she has to take care of the kids and it kind of leaves me just with the messy schedule trying to you know provide for the family so I just been staying low um, I've been trying to get the the YouTube channel monetized here which takes about a thousand subscribers and I've been doing videos for the past three or four years now and it's definitely not working out so I've made the decision and kind of slowing down and the how-to videos I'm gonna slow down on that too because it just takes up a lot of time and away from my family so Hope you guys are being understandable about that. But nonetheless, I finally got the transmission back from Monkey Wrench Racing. And uh, the one debate that everybody has on the forums is whether they have LSD or not. The US market vehicles, according to my research, we did not have LSDs. That's something that we have to add on if we want to, which is quite costly. Nobody ever does it. Because it takes a lot of time, a lot of money, and I frankly don't know too much about transmissions. So I just decided, you know what, I'll just pay an extra few bones for for somebody to actually do the work for me and knows exactly what they're doing. So I decided to do that, and the reason I sent out my transmission was because first gear was popping out. I had to rev match every single gears to get into gear, and third gear wouldn't go in. Um, so that's the reason why I got a sent out for rebuild so they did a couple of things they, they put a, a, some hoverings on it uh, brand new synchros that's the majority of the reason why it wasn't going to gear and popping out of gear so I got synchros um, I got third drive uh, third drive gear is brand new and um, I actually added LSD a TRD LSD it's uh, it's a used TRD LSD that they provided uh, in which the state is in perfect condition so I went ahead and add, added to the uh, to the rebuild now that being said there's people saying whether what's what is it that you see and knowing if you have LSD well Everybody has a hot debate about that. And um, the number one thing is there's a crossbar that goes in that you could see in this, in the where you put in your CV axle. Uh, there's a crossbar. I'm trying to find my flashlight.
you see that bar right there now people say if you have that bar it's an open diff same thing on this side supposedly and it's open diff because you can't see through the holes you should see you're supposed to see clearly on the other side but with the TRD LSD it's basically what they call torsen or helical whatever you want to name it uh, it's it's basically helical you have a warm gear in it and uh, a warm wheel inside the, uh, the mechanical aspect of it And there's a there's a debate whether you have non LSD. From the research I've done, that crossbar, if you have a small thinner one in which I'll take I'll post a picture of it. Because I actually took a picture of it before I got it sent out. That bar is actually a little bit more thinner, being in a uh, an open diff. So after doing some research, both of them, even though you, you if, even if it's an open diff, you'll have that bar and you have a helical LSD, you still have that bar right there. The other way to find out, there's a couple ways to find out if you have LSD. Now before I jump on to the other couple, there's actually a few ways to find out if you have LSD. The other way is check your VIN and if your VIN you come over here and you look at your transmission code C60 those the the letter before the 660 if you have an A it means that you have an open diff if you have a B it means you have an LSD so that's one way to find out if you have a open or LSD diff uh, the US market we did not get LSD uh, transmissions for what reason I am not sure maybe we did but for the majority part of our of our uh, uh, Toyotas we did not get LSDs just like the GTRs we never got GTRs here in the States we do now we never got the uh, Celica that Celica the Celica GT4s for what reason I have no freaking clue but just ranting about that but uh, what about our wagons you know most of our wagons here in the US just because we love cheeseburgers we don't like wagons either so again just ranting but anyways that's the other way to find out if you have LSD the other way to find out if you have LSD is according to MR2 forum there's supposedly I guess this is this is the access hole for a a uh, speed sensor of some sort for the uh, MR2s uh, I'm not sure but it's definitely a peephole in my case so zoom in you see that gear right there that I'm trying to zoom in at right there that's basically your your warm gear that drives your your shaft so unfortunately for torsen or helical LSDs when you jack up the car and spin one wheel technically when you have LSD both wheels are supposed to spin the same rotation unfortunately with uh, torsen helical LSD that's not the case um, they will spin the the opposite making making you think you don't have LSD so the one way to find out is is uh, basically you have a peephole on the C60 or C59 whatever you have and you have the warm gears right here I already connected one of the uh, I didn't connect it but just just enough for me to play with it just enough for me to feed the splines into it you have your warm wheel warm gear 
just right there. So I'm going to spin the, the axle and you're going to start to see the gear move. There we go. Just like that. I'm trying to just got out of place. Give me one second. Pop this axle back in real quick. As you can see it spin. So so there's one right there. Now I want to spin the shaft right here since I have my vice grip. I'm gonna spin the shaft so I could get to the uh, other gear. So I'm gonna put it into gear first so I can move it. So there's one. So I actually made a mark just to be sure how many gears I have. I mean a small little mark right there with the white marker so we have one right there rotate the axle there's one there's two three four In five five gears hopefully that that'll this is actually no easy way to find out if you have a TRD LSD it's a little bit hard especially when it's in the vehicle so if there's a way for you guys to access that hole then by all means go ahead or just take a peek at that that crossbar if it's thicker than uh, almost covering the hole then you most likely do have an LSD but if you're in the states there's a 95 percent chance you don't have it unless somebody else swapped it out so so i'm gonna let you guys go hopefully that's uh something beneficial for you guys to find out if you have lsd or not uh and uh, just want to make this quick video for you guys stay tuned i will be putting back the the transmission soon as soon as i get the chance to order that that clutch and that's gonna be a stage one clutch. It's not gonna be anything fancy for the fact that I just have basic bolt-ons, a basic tune, and uh, it's not it's not heavily modified, I would say. So just stay tuned and uh, hopefully I'll get this guy running again. I am thinking of, before I take it to the track, I am thinking of putting in some, some Prius wheels up front and putting some slicks on it. Just buy a, two, a pair of slicks and uh run um run the uh my regular stock wheels that i have at the moment out in the back so i'll probably do that too before i send out to the track i do have the stock xrs wheels that came with the with the with the xrs but they seem a little bit lightweight but i want to i want to get a little bit more lighter of a wheel and of course it's expensive to get a racing wheel that Per wheel, it's like 600, 700 bucks. So um, I just don't have the funds for to, to be doing that at the moment. So the only thing that I could come up with is, you know, going to the junkyard, finding some Prius wheels, slapping up front, and uh, putting some slicks in, have some fun. So hopefully this video is beneficial for you guys and you guys can make something out of it. So yeah, hopefully this video is beneficial for you guys and hopefully I can finish this guy up and get some things going really really soon get some content going so enough said i'm gonna let you guys go and keep wrenching guys thanks